Welcome to another video. So, recently, I covered Project IDX, and I showed how you can set it up to create some great stuff with it. However, I didn't create anything too impressive because it takes time to build things, even though it's AI. Like, if I need to create a full app, it almost takes around three to four hours to build a fully usable app. And that's why, to show you how to do things, I created something very basic. But obviously, people wouldn't want to just make a to-do list or a Minesweeper game. So, I thought maybe I should create an app that's more practical, and that's exactly what I'll be doing today. There's also some really cool stuff about IDX that I didn't cover before, like the built-in Android emulator, which is just insane to use. Anyway, we'll get to that. But first, we need to figure out what we'll be using and what we'll be creating. I'll be creating a mobile app because it makes the most sense for people to use. And that's what most of us would want to create, since half of the population is on mobile these days. Plus, it will also let us test the Android emulator that Project IDX has. Now, for the framework, I'll be using Flutter. Most people asked me to use it after I did the last video. I have used Flutter before, but it's been a long time since I last touched it. So keep that in mind if I say something dumb moving forward. Anyway, there are two questions left. The first is, what's the app? And the second is, what model will we be using? For the model, I'll be using Gemini. Specifically, Gemini 1.5 Flash. Now, you might wonder why I'm using this model. Well, there are two reasons. First of all, Gemini 1.5 Flash is free with amazing rate limits. Besides that, the new models are really good at coding, especially with Flutter, according to my testing. I think this is because Flutter is also by Google, and Gemini is by Google too, and they've trained the model well on Flutter. So, yeah, I think we can create a really usable app with Flutter using Gemini. We'll see for ourselves by the end. Plus, it's also multimodal so we can send images for better generations as well. Now, the main question is, what are we going to create? I'll be creating a bedtime story generator app where you can enter a basic premise of a story, and it will generate a story for you with an audio version. I think it'll be a cool thing to create. I'll also be adding authentication to it via Firebase for the model inside the app to generate stories. I'll be using Gemini Flash because it will be super fast and can generate good stories. For the audio generation, I'll be using the Eleven Labs API because it has an API and generates really good audio. I think this will give us a good idea of how we can use AI to build apps. So, those are the things I'll be using. Let's get started and check it out. First of all, go to Project IDX. Here, Create a simple Flutter project. Once you've done that, it will start getting created. Once it's created, you'll see a VS Code-like interface. Here you have the code, and here you have the Android emulator. Yes, this is an actual Android emulator, and it works really well. So, you're not limited to just creating web apps in Project IDX. You can create native apps too. Anyway, now we also have Gemini support here, so let's run it. Okay, it's done now. We have the basic Gemini chat here, and we can do inline assists and all sorts of things with it. But we can't do automated coding, which we generally want to do. For that, go to the extension and search for Klein. It's a really good open source coding agent, and you can just give it a prompt, and it can generate applications which is pretty cool. So, just install it. Once installed, you'll see it in your sidebar. Open it up. Now, go to the settings and configure the model you want to use. I'll be using Gemini 1.5 Flash because it's good for Flutter, but for the best results, you can also use Claude. Or if you want great results for cheaper, 
you can use DeepSeek, which costs way less than Claude, but still works well. You can also get Claude for free via Vertex AI. Check out my videos on that. But I'll be using Gemini 1.5 Flash, so I'll select Gemini here. Now, once that's done, we can start using it. Let's get started with prompting. I have this simple prototype here, so I'll attach that. Now, I want to go step by step. So, I'll ask it to update the main page to look like this, and then we'll ask it to make a login and sign up page later. Let's send the prompt now. Okay, it's doing that. Also, I'm going to make the basic layout with this, and once we have it, I'll use the inline assist option to directly go into the page files and change it there. I think their inline assist model uses the Gemini Pro model, and it works really well for me. Anyway, we'll need to wait just a bit, so let's wait. Okay, it's done now. So, if we look at it, you'll see it's looking pretty good. But it still has issues, so I'll add more prompts to dial in exactly what I want. I won't show the whole process here, because that would extend the video a lot. I'll just show you the final refined pages. But if you want to see the exact process, I'll put the whole unedited version in the Members Only section. There are also a bunch of other videos you can check out, and I regularly update it. It starts from just $5 and supports the channel, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, I did some stuff, and after the first generation, I mostly used the Gemini chat window because that generally gives better results and has no rate limit. You can use both in conjunction. So, this is the main page I was able to create. It looks pretty good. Currently, it doesn't do anything. It's just the UI. But it looks nice. Now, I wanted to add a bottom menu and a profile page too. So I asked Klein to do it. And it did. You can see it here. Now it has a profile button and a home button. And both work properly. Next, we need to add authentication. I'll be using Firebase for that. So... I asked it to do that, and it's done. But we also need to create the flutter config file. For that, I ran the flutterfire command, and once I did that, it created the config file. After this, the authentication pages were showing, but it wasn't working. I had to change the manifest to refer to the same package name as the one I entered in the Firebase config. Once I did that, it started working. I also needed to create the profile page, and I wanted a sign-out button there, so I asked it to do that, and it did. It looks pretty good now. The authentication is working fine, but the login and sign-up pages looked terrible. So, I asked it to fix them, and it made them much better. Now it looks pretty good. Next, we need to make the main feature work. I'll be using Gemini to generate a story from an idea and the Eleven Labs API to convert it into speech. I got example snippets for both of them and crafted a prompt. When I sent it, it didn't work at first, and I had to go through a lot of iterations, which will be available in the Members Only section. Anyway, after some time, I was able to get that working too. So now we have the final app that I created. It took about three or four hours, and I generated it fully for free with Gemini 1.5 Flash, IDX's Code Assist option, and fixed small errors myself because I didn't want to ask it for simple one-line changes. It took two threads because one thread reached about one million tokens and started acting weird. So for the last touch-ups, I created a new thread, and it made things much better. Now, let me show you what I've created. It looks really nice. Here's the login slash sign up page. You can easily create an account here, and once you do, you can start using it. 
There's also a profile section, which doesn't show much, but it's fine. Besides that, you can easily enter an idea for a story you want to generate. Let's ask it to generate a story about an emotional moment between a dog and its owner. Let's send it here. You'll need to wait a bit. And it's done. It's pretty fast, because Gemini Flash generates things quickly, and Eleven Labs is fast too. So here it is. Let's play it. Old Ben, a scruffy terrier mix, lay beside his sleeping owner, Sarah. His muzzle was gray, his bones prominent, but his tail thumped weakly against the worn rug. Sarah stirred, her hand instinctively reaching for his. Their fingers intertwined, a silent promise whispered across years of shared laughter, tears, and unwavering loyalty. Ben's breath hitched, a soft whine escaping. He knew this was their last Okay, it sounds pretty good. So, that's the app. I think it's really usable. You've got authentication, you can generate stories, listen to them, and everything. I was short on time, or I could have added more features, like an option to view the story in text, or similar things. But I think we've generated something really good for free. Gemini Flash has gotten really good, and if you use it correctly, you can get some great generations out of it. Many people talk badly about it, but I've always liked it. Plus, the free tier is just so good. I enjoy using it a lot. But the best part about all this is that it's very customizable. You can use any model you want and pretty much anything. Cursor, Bolt, and other AI editors can't match what we have here. None of them has a built-in Android emulator that you can run, so this is definitely amazing. Their own AI assistant is also good, although, if you're using it for coding, try asking it to return the full code, because sometimes it only returns half, which isn't ideal. You can see the whole process in the members-only video, which I'll be posting very soon. So, please consider joining. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.